Warden zooms forward. Warden gets bamboozled. Nobody going for the town hall. Uh-oh. Tries to freeze the town hall, but it actually misses. Uh-oh. Coma. Not like this, Coma. Kill the champion. Oh my gosh. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the grand finals of the Rush of Clans Golden Edition Tournament. Only two teams remain. Navi, Tribe Gaming. We already saw them battle once in the upper bracket finals, but this is a double elimination tournament. Tribe Gaming did win that first match. They sent Navi down to the lower bracket. Navi won the lower bracket and they're back in the grand finals. And if they beat Tribe Gaming twice, two times in a row, they win. Tribe Gaming only have to beat Navi one more time and it's all over. And Klaus Nose is going first in this matchup and did an early Warden blimp and he zapped the core of the base and he's got a jump spell. He's got an Ice Hound. He's got a bowler. What the heck is he doing? Poison spell is in. Baby Dragon. Bowler. King on the left side of the base. Okay. Okay. Eagle Artillery is already awake. He used the poison spell kind of early, so now his queen's getting wrecked by Puff. Don't tell me she goes to ability, man. She's barely going to be okay. One dragon is in to help the queen. Skeleton spell on the monolith. Champion's in from the left side of the base to help support the king. Sure, sure, sure. What in the jumping spell? <laughs> uh, nice jump spell. I mean, it, it's working. Queen pops ability. Goes for the scatter shot. The unicorn dies. Champion goes for the eagle. What the heck? Ice hound from the top side. What is he doing? His queen goes down. She didn't even get to use the jump, but the RC finishing all the buildings that the queen was supposed to get. RC gets the multi. He doesn't quite get the sweeper, but we still got the Lalo moving through the top side of the base without the Warden's support. We got two freezes and a haste. There goes the first freeze. Phoenix getting a little bit of value. Balloons collapsing in on that scatter shot. We're going to haste through it. We're going to freeze on the right. Send more balloons over there for the air defense. He's out of spells. Rage Tower gets triggered early. It doesn't really matter. The only thing that Rage Tower is covering is ground bows. Balloons get through the air defense. Did he get this? <laughs> Did Klaus start off this grand finals with a triple? A wonky creative army triple too? I think he just might have if he doesn't run out of time. Balloon's taking forever. If they hit traps, he could be in trouble. Actually, his warden blimp already covered this whole area, right? He's good to go. He's good to go. He's got minion on the bottom, minion on the top, minion on the right. Phoenix for the CC building. Two more balloons in the bag. Dropping them for storage. Is that the three star? You see him starting to smile. He knows it. Balloon going for the gold storage. 96%, 97, 98, 99, and a three star for Navi. Abrax is in with the first attack for Tribe Gaming today. Seven Electro Dragons. Some rocket balloons to kick things off. All right. What do you pick up there? Some air defenses. Looks like it. Down go some air defenses. E drags into the Eagle Artillery. Got the Warden on air mode to help support, of course. Little owl that could. Doing his thing. Are we going to battle blimp the Town Hall in the Warden ability? Probably. There goes the battle blimp. Rage Tower on defense. CC troops are coming out. It's just a handful of archers. Warden ability now. Boom. Does he find the tornado trap with this blimp? Blimp is going. It's going. It's going. He's got the double clone. Is it going to be super minions? Well, that's a good spot for super minions. Look at that. Double clone. Invis. Rage. One more invis. He doesn't even need a second invis, bro. The town hall drops. The monolith drops. E-drags are getting through the multis. Oh, dude. Those super minions are doing so much damage. Freeze the scatter shot and the sweeper on the right. Freeze the archer queen. Look at those super minions go. Freeze the champion on the left. These super minions are just blowing the entire base apart. That's crazy, bro. They don't get the champion on the left quite. That scatter shot on one HP as well, but it doesn't matter. We'll just finish there. Queen's at 3 o'clock. We lost all the E-Drags. We lost all the Super Minions, but <laughs> the whole base is gone. Oh, He's got two Invis spells left. To see him use the King with the Queen. I kind of wish he would have dropped the Queen a little bit earlier. Could have taken advantage of the fact that the Super Minion Blimp pre-triggered the Rage Tower. Because of how long he waited, I think the Rage Tower is going to have a chance. Just enough time to recover. That is going to be a little awkward. 
he dropped the heroes like just 10 seconds earlier. Queen might have been able to take that Rage Tower out before it recovered. Oh well, he might still have a chance here. King ability going off. We go with the Invis spell to help out. Unicorn gets locked onto by double damage expo. He tries to save the Unicorn with that second Invis, but it doesn't work. Is this going to be a defense? Bro, I thought this base was wrecked. The champion goes down. The northern side of the base just absolutely wrecked his heroes. He's got the Diggy still to stun. He's got Phoenix, but no Unicorn means the Queen's in trouble. Diggy going for whatever the Queen's going for. He's got Minion Archer on the right side trying to go for this Archer Tower. Queen gets the left Archer Tower. Queen gets the right Archer Tower. Only 26 seconds on the clock, though. He might time fail. Imagine time failing an air spam attack, bro. Oh my gosh, this is why I said he should have dropped that King and Queen like 10 seconds earlier. Pops the Queen ability. I think he knows it's going to be a time fail. He's going to try to get as much percent as possible now. He's not going to have enough time. Rip. Gets the Dark Barracks. Goes for the champion. Goes for one more building and that's it. Oh, that's such a heartbreaker for the Prox, man. 96%. Gaku is in. The captain of Na'vi with a second attack for Na'vi. He's bringing more super archers. Ooh, fun. Fun, fun, fun when he does the super archer smash attacks. Warden on the left side of the base. Julio setting up a funnel over there. No zap spells here. He's got four rages. Two skeleton spells. I like it. I like it a lot. Probably going to see him use the log launcher too, I bet. As soon as that gold mine goes down, here we go. We're already ready to rock and roll. Ice Golem, E Titan, Super Archers, King on the top side of the base. Let's go. Let's go. More healers, more Coca Bloons. He lost one healer to a secondary mine there. One freeze is in. First rage is in. Early Warden ability. Okay. Log Launcher's in as well. All right. Log Launcher going to bust through the core here. Got to get through this uh, Lava Dog from the Clan Castle. E-Titan helps us get through it pretty quickly. King on the top side, followed by three wizards getting some good value over there. Champions already deployed early from the left side of the base. Starting to use these skeleton spells to help distract in the middle. Nice. He only used one so far. Next rage. Ice Golem, I think, out of the log launcher. Getting some good freeze value. Invis for the queen. Next last rage is in. Not even the last rage. Boy, he's got so many rages. Another freeze on the town hall. We get through the town hall. Looking good. Champion on the bottom side. Running into a little bit of trouble, but Queen going to pick up the Expo. Champion goes to Ability. Where are we going to use this last Skeleton Spell to distract the Barbarian King, I think? Super Archers are still pushing. One more Rage. Super Archers. Healers getting raged up. This is looking great for Gaku. Uses the last Skeleton Spell to distract the Warden Statue. Distract the Teslas. Distract the Barbarian King. We've even got a back-end Headhunter. It's crushed. Gaku getting it done. And Na'Vi are going to be two for two. They are looking good so far in this grand finals match. Champion moving through the right side. He's already got a minion on the mortar as well. Still has all his super archers alive, bro. That's clutch. Baby dragon to get the barracks on the left side of the base. Nicely done. Three stars for Gaku. Kronos is in with more electro dragons. Two clone spells as well. Their last electro dragon attack was looking super good. And then just absolutely died out of nowhere. Let's see if they can make this one work. Rage Tower goes off early. E Artillery is awake. E Drag's making their way in toward the double Inferno Tower section. Battle Blimp, Warden Ability. Here we go. Did use two lightning spells for the sweep. Did another Super Minion Bomb. I think it is. Boom, Invis, perfectly placed Invis, man. He gets the Monolith. Gonna be able to get the Town Hall. Gonna blow up that left side scatter shot. Super Minion is also going for the Archer Queen. Gonna be able to take her out. Those Super Minions get crazy value. I don't even think he needed that third Invis. Could have saved it for his heroes. I don't think he got any value. The Super Minions got out of it right away anyway. But man, did he blow up the middle of the base. Now, question is, can his heroes finish off the rest of the base? On their last attack, the answer was no. That freeze for the champion scatter shot. He missed the champion. That could be important. Still has like three or four e drags alive with the warden here. Can they get through the champion? They should be able to. Queen been deployed at three o'clock. Now he is being slow. They're being slow again with their queen and king, which means that rage tower on the bottom side of the base again is going to have enough time to recharge. I don't know if I agree with the way they drop their heroes after doing the e drag portion. 
They're being too slow, too patient, too methodical about it. Not taking advantage, keeping that rage tower out of play. Champion from the right side, she finds a skelly trap early. His ice golem dies here. Is that same base that yo yo 23 tripled with the same attack? I think it might be different. I, I don't actually know. Remember. That Rage Tower, man. Those defense is doing double damage. Oh, the champion's getting wrecked. E-Drags are going down. The king's about to die. Queen still has her ability. He might have it. If he has enough time for Queen to, like, go around the entire base, I think it is just a matter of time now. It's going to be so slow. Again, that's why I was saying, man, if you drop the king and queen just a little bit faster, you might not time fail. Oh, I think he... I have a feeling he's going to time fail, dude. It's up to the queen, the diggy. You can see him. He's freaking out. There's nothing else he can do besides pop queen ability and hope. He should have already popped queen ability, dude. Just pop it. You get the extra archers. Why are you not popping queen ability? Pop queen ability, please. Please. What are you waiting for? Dude, pop her ability. Oh my gosh. He probably could have gotten at least one extra building if he popped queen ability earlier. Because you have the archers to help support. Definitely would have gotten the builder hood at least for 97. Instead, it's a 96% and Triber in trouble. Goma is in. And look at this. More super archers. Oh boy. I'm loving how super archers are actually becoming a part of the meta. I feel like they're not super easy to use, but they're not that hard to use. I think it's more of a skilled attack than E Titans are, at least. Oh, look at these healers chasing the giant. That's not good news. Healers go back to the warden. He's okay. Healers are safe. I like Super Archers. I think Super Archers are fun. See what he can do. He's got three E Titans as well, so it's kind of both. He definitely wants this Warden to pick up the Scatter Shot, but I have a feeling Warden... I'm gonna walk the other way. It's awkward. I might have to skip the Scatter, dude. I think he does. Flame Flinger doing a good job on the top side of the base. He's gonna have to skip the Scatter Shot. That's annoying, but oh well. E Titans, Archers on the right side. Now the Archers can get these Inferno Towers from like any compartment, even from the outside of the walls. But he's going to use a jump spell here anyway, because he wants to push all the way through the base. No Log Launcher on this attack. We got the Flame Flinger. He's going with the Early Warden ability again. So take note, guys, if you want to try these Super Archers at attacks. Gaku did the Early Warden ability. Now Koma is doing the Early Warden ability. So maybe that is the way to go. We'll see if Koma's... Uh... Super Archers are going to stay alive here because of that. It does allow them to get through these first couple Inferno Towers without taking any damage, which I think is key. You don't want to lose any Super Archers early. Scatter Shot's locking on. We're actually going to send King to that right side Scatter. Look at that. I think he did lose some Super Archers. Uh-oh. He might be in trouble. Next Rage. Second Jump Spell is in. Queen kills the enemy Queen. Flame Flinger is still getting some great value. That's looking good. Invis Tower goes off. That's a little awkward. Warden zooms forward. Warden gets bamboozled. Nobody going for the Town Hall. Uh-oh. Tries to freeze the Town Hall, but it actually misses. Uh-oh. Coma. Not like this, Coma. Kill the champion. Oh, my God. King goes to the outside. He's going to have to send champion to the Town Hall. Queen pops her ability. Gets the expo on the left side. Got an E-Titan. Got a Yeti to help support. Where did he send the champion? Champion for the Town Hall. He's got a freeze. He's got an invis. Should be able to save the two star. Some connection issues. Oh, Koma's. Uh oh. Bro, Koma's camera went offline and we're getting the spinny bar. Don't tell me Koma's Wi Fi went out. Bro. If he doesn't get to use the freeze or an invis for this champion, he might not get the town hall. Uh oh. Tell me he didn't disconnect. Tell me he didn't disconnect. Okay, he's still playing. The invis spell goes through. Champion gets the Town Hall. Free spell for good measure. It, can he still 3-star? He's got champion ability. He's got an E-Titan, a Yeti on the left side of the base. Oh, it's going to be so close, bro. He might still get it. Oh, not the Skelly Trap. RC ability goes through. Yeti Mites, go for the Inferno. Go for the Inferno. They're going to go for the Wizard Tower. Oh, crap. Expo stays up. Bro, it's so close. But it's a defense for Tribe Gaming. Koma might have to check on his Wi-Fi, dude. Rip. This is going to be a 95%. And Tribe Gaming can get back in this match now. He get 96? He does. 96%.
All right, next attack. Exocyst is in. Two lightning spells for a sweeper. A couple rocket balloons from the right side. Bro, these guys are just going hardcore with the Electro Dragons today. All right. We're just going to see nothing but E-Drag attacks from Tribe Gaming, I guess. This is their third attack, and it's their third E-Drag attack. Interesting. So, uh, for all you E-Drag clans out there, just know. You could win yourself a golden ticket by being good with E-Drags. Look at this. E-Drags making their way toward the Ego Artillery. We got the Battle Blimp soaring for the Town Hall. Warden ability. Pop. We got the Double Clones. Again, they're going with the Super Minion Bomb. So for all you guys that want to do E-Drags, consider doing these Super Minion Bombs like this, bro. Look at this. Super Minions. Take out the Monolith. Second Invis. They take the Town Hall. He doesn't even need the third Invis, but he's going to drop it anyways. They're going to get the scatter shot on the right. They should be able to fight the queen as well. Bro, they get so much freaking value. And again, they pull the rage tower on the top side. Now, for the third time, are we going to see them time fail? Or wait so long to use the heroes that the rage tower recovers? This time, he's got the queen and the king already working. It's time to use the freeze to help get through the scatter shot. Keep the warden alive. Keep these e-drags alive. King and queen pushing. He might be able to get through the Rage Tower before it recovers. I think that's going to be key. The first two attackers from Tribe did not get through that Rage Tower before it had a chance to recover. And it made a big difference. Queen hits a Giant Bomb. Ice Golem pops and freezes. King's still doing his thing on the outside of the base. Queen, e -drag's pushing through. Rage Tower starting to recover. Uh-oh, he's still not able to get through it quick enough, man. Rip, this Rage Tower is going to be OP. Champions in, Headhunters in, Rage Tower goes off. It's going to be a tough section to get through, but he might be okay. He's cheering already. His king is still healthy. I think he's going to be okay. He got through that king. He gets through the Inferno Tower. Get through the Tesla. Nothing's doing double damage. Still has all four heroes alive. The Rage Tower didn't matter on this one. The heroes are healthy. There goes the RC ability. All the defenses are going down, and it is the first three-star for Tribe Gaming. And they might just be back in this match, but they're going to need one more defense. We'll see if they can do it. Nicely done from Excosis. Azuma is in with some Super Bowlers. Starts with the Queen on the left side of the base here. Two E-Titans, four Super Bowlers. Balloon on the cannon. Warden with the Queen. Okay. One E-Titan's already in. Queen's walking up. Was that a part of the plan? I don't know. I don't think it was. I don't think he wanted Queen to go that way. Now he's switching up the plan on the fly. Uh-oh. King on the top side. Queen goes to ability early. Oh, yeah. Super Bowler's up top. I don't think this was part of the plan, guys. I think he's got to change the plan on the fly. That Warden got locked onto by a double damage expo. Warden ability going off early. Oh, this is a nightmare for Kazuma. He's got to get all the way to the Town Hall, bro. You better not one star right now. Got a Log Launcher. He's not using it. Pops King ability. His Warden's already dead. His Bowlers are dying. The Healers are not on the Queen. The Queen already used her ability. He switches to a Stone Slammer, bro. You just gotta go into save the two-star mode, please. <coughs> Excuse me. Queen going for that upper multi. Decides to go with a Battle Drill from the right side of the base. Oh, I'm very nervous. Use all the spells for the Champion, I guess. A couple Healers on the Champion. Maybe Rage her up. Skeleton spell trying to distract the Expo. Invis is the champion. Rages her up as well. Why didn't he rage the healers? I don't know. Okay, they're going to get raged up. Champion. Freeze. Champion has her ability. Save the two-star. Come on, come on, come on. Whew. He gets the two-star. This is a big defense, man. It's going to be low percent. Tribe Gaming have every chance now to steal the lead if they three-star their next attack. Oh, boy. King on the right side not going to be able to do much here. He's going to go down. Phoenix bring him back to life. He might get an extra building or two. Currently at 69%. Tee hee. Hoggers. But he's actually going to get more than that. Just above 70 before this attack ends. Rip Kazuma, dude. You can tell from the way he dropped the queen. He did some funneling up at 10 o'clock. He wanted her to walk down and like into the scatter shot. Or he dropped that E-Titan. But queen did not obey. Phoenix grabs another storage. Archer on the left going to grab another building. He might be able to get the gold mine at 6 o'clock with another archer. He wanted to. I don't know why he's not dropping that archer. No, he can't get it anyway. 
72%. Nice try. Rakirez is in, and finally, the first attack from Tribe Gaming today. That's not an Electro Dragon attack. All right, Rakirez going with the Lalo. Free spell, Rocket Balloons, Battle Blimp. Rocket Balloons take out the Bomb Tower. Nice. Is it going to be a Blizz? Oh, this is going to be a juicy Blizz. Invis. Rage pulls a lava hound. Wall breakers bust open the wall. Next invis. Ooh, spring trap. Get the champion. I think he did. Gets the inferno. Can he actually reach the scatter? Oh my gosh, they can. That is a beautiful blizz spot, bro. Look at that. They pick up the scatter. Whew. That's juicy. Queen to fight the hound. Poison spells in early. Yeti on the 12 o'clock side of the base. If Queen gets all the way to the Town Hall, it's looking great for Mr. Ricky Rez. Giant on the cannon. Why not use the wizard behind to help? Oh, well. Queen will pick up the cannon. Now, that Tesla's going to be a little annoying. Cause the queen cannot reach it from the outside, but he notices, and he's going to... I was going to say that Rocket Loon's smart. It'll take it out, but... <laughs> Rocket Loon got wrecked by a Seeking Air Mode. Queen taking quite a bit of damage from the Tesla, but she gets out of range. Two balloons to go take it out. Two giants. Then the Ice Golem. Helping the Queen get all the way to the Town Hall. Eagle Artillery is awake. He's actually so lucky that Eagle lo somehow locked onto a balloon instead of the Queen. That made zero sense. It should have locked onto the Queen. That would have forced the Queen ability early, too. Oh, well. King on the bottom side. Going to fight the enemy King. We send a couple of Headhunters to help out. Queen can pop her ability. She'll pick up the Town Hall. Champion from 6 o'clock. Where do we Lalo? What angle? Only got a minute, five seconds on the clock. You can't wait too much longer. Tribe Gaming desperately need this three star. Lalo coming in from the bottom right side. Gonna let his one and only Lava Hound get out in front, away from the Warden ability, and die. Headhunters, haste. Warden ability, in. Free spell. Champion's still alive. Tornado Trap got triggered early. We, can, we got one more free spell for the scatter shot. Uses it right there as the ward ability wears off. More balloons from the top side of the base. We just got to get through this monolith. Is the champion still alive? Yes, she is. With ability. 35 seconds. King doing cleanup with the sneaky goblin. With the minions all along the outside of the base. Diggy. The stun the monolith. It's looking good. For Rakirez. Look at him. Getting the hype. He's excited. That's a three star. For Tribe Gaming. Does he have the time? 20 seconds. Champion goes for the CC building. King doing his thing on the right side of the base. He's got it. Bro. Tribe Gaming. Take the lead. It's 10 to 10, and they have the lead on percent. Stars is in. Final attack for Na'Vi. Stars going last today is interesting. Did he miss his app? That eagle's still awake. Still up. Or maybe he was just going for the Inferno Tower and whatever else was there. Early Warden Blimp. Ooh. Lot of balloons. Hay spell. Headhunters for the champion. Battle Blimp going all the way for the Town Hall, and it makes it. Did he pick up this Inferno Tower on the left as well? One more freeze. He wants it. His Warden goes down to Headhunters, though. He might not get that Inferno. Without the Warden and the Owl shooting it, rip. His Owl stayed back. He's shooting an uh, uh, Elixir Stores the whole time. That's actually kind of annoying. He doesn't get the multi. He definitely wanted the multi. What's the CC troops? The Town Hall is secured. Navi are down by a lot on percent, so Stars needs this 3-star, and then any defense can win the match for them. Why is the Poison spell so late, Stars? Is Queen going to go to ability because of that? Unicorn's on 1 HP. He's forced to freeze a Mortar. Why did he drop the Poison spell so late? Queen's on 1 HP, dude, but she's still alive. Unicorn's also on 1 HP, but she's still alive. King on the top side, distracting the Eagle Artillery. All right, he's got a chance, but no Warden for the rest of the attack. Two Ice Golems, two Dragon Riders, a Royal Champion still to go. He's going to start sprinkling in some Giants from the top side. Popping that King ability. Which way does Queen walk? He's going up. We're going to ignore that multi on the left. We don't have a Town Hall to worry about. He's just going for percent now, trying to get all the way to 100%. Rage Tower on defense. Champion's in. Diggy to stun the multi. Queen's still alive. Okay, Expo's doing double damage. The king goes down. Phoenix brings him back to life. We got one free spell, and that's it. Skeleton spell being used to distract the Expo and the Scattershot and the queen. We try to use this baby dragon to go for the multi. Is that going to work? Oh, I think it will. 
Well, that's a clutch baby dragon, bro. That's why you always bring an extra baby dragon. Let's go. Freeze on the queen. His RC has to go to ability early. Queen goes to ability as well. Scattershot doing splash damage. Not good news. Starts to send the Lalo from the right side of the base. Can champion pick up the scattershot? Diggy is there to stun, but the champion goes down. Queen on one HP. Balloons from all around, but he doesn't have that many balloons left. He's got dragon riders. One on the right, one on the left. Balloons take out the air defense. Only 30 seconds on the clock. He has to get through the monolith. Monolith kills the queen. Oh, it's looking like a time fail. Or can he get it? Two dragon riders are alive. He's got a giant. He's got a Valkyrie. No headhunter for the king. Sends the wizard. Has a sneaky goblin. Send everything in, bro. You only got 14 freaking seconds. Dragon rider gets locked onto. He lost the left dragon rider. Sends the giant to distract the barbarian king. Come on. Come on. Dragon rider goes down. Balloons going. Sneaky goblin for the storage. 96. Down goes the builder hut. 98. 99. Oh. The 99. Percent. Yo yo 23. With the final attack of the match. And I'm no mathematician, but he only needs like a 70 something percent two star to win it for Tribe Gaming. And they will get first place in the Rush of Clans Golden Edition. They already got the golden ticket because Navi won the first golden ticket like a month ago. But they're competing for money right now. And it's a lot of money. For whoever wins this match, man. King on the right side of the base. Queen charge on the bottom side of the base. It's going to be Queen charge Lalo. He just needs that town hall and he needs 72 or 76 percent. Something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Might be 75 percent for the tie. I think it is 76 for the win. King gets the scatter shot. Pulls the CC troops. He rages the queen. He invises the queen. Sends the headhunter. But the king's doing double damage. The expos are doing double damage. Queen might be in trouble here. Pops the ability. Oh, well. Queen picks up the expo. We continue walking down. Keep in the town hall for now. King took care of the headhunters, but the lava hound's still alive. Going for the queen. We're going to rage her up one more time. He's having to use a lot of spells early. Already used her ability as well. He's got expecting her to get the town hall. Could be a little interesting. Oh, that queen's getting low. Oh, that queen's getting real low. Eagle locks on the queen, bro. He doesn't have ability. Uh-oh. You okay? Only one rage left. A little tornado trap. Queen's okay. Barely. Lalo from the top side. Here we go. Ooh, that queen on one HP, bro. He waits till the last freaking second to drop that invis. That was scary. Lalo from the top side with a blimp for the core. Pops the warden ability right away. Freezy boy on the town hall chamber. Pops the blimp in the middle of the base. Still has a champion to deploy. He's saving the champion <laughs> just in case queen doesn't get this town hall. He needs 76%, man. The healers are getting wrecked. Queen... Get the town hall. Yes. Balloons are all dying out, bro. He's only at 67. Champion from the left. Come on, Warden. Get a few more buildings. Woo, queen goes down. Ice golem freezes. Headhunters for the queen. 72. I think he gets it. 73. 74. But geez, he made it close. RC ability still to go off. 75. 76. Tribe Gaming are the winners of the Rush of Clans tournament. They got themselves the golden ticket. They got themselves that first place money. Jeez, one more free spell here. He's not going to three star. Bro, if stars had gotten the, the three star instead of the 99%. Oh. Or if any of his other teammates had gotten the triple. Oh, they would have won. They would have won. But nice try, Navi. GG's. Got to give credit to Tribe Gaming, bro. They had some stellar bases. Their bases were good. Held Navi to 12 stars. Tribe Gaming also get 12 stars, but they had the better percent today. Yo-Yo23 gets enough. 92%. We'll see if they flash the little screen here with the banner showing the winner. Tribe Gaming are the champions of the Rush of Clans Golden Edition. And they are excited. Look at them. The Brocks freaking out. Rikira is just looking at Discord. Bro, what is he playing in the background? What the heck is... Rikira is playing some dude with a big head on his screen. <laughs> oh, oh, well. GG's. I'll see you guys tomorrow.